ஆல் வெல்கம் பேக் டு நேதர் வீடியோ ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஹவ் டு ஜென்ரேட் டிக்கெட்ஸ் இன் ஓடோ சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஹெல்ப் டெஸ்க் மொடியூல் ஸோ டிக்கெட் இஸ் அ மெசேஜ் ஆர் அ ரிக்வெஸ்ட் தட் இஸ் சென்ட் பை தி கஸ்டமர் டு ரேஸ் தேர் ப்ராப்ளம் இட்ஸ் அ வே ஃபார் தி கஸ்டமர்ஸ் டு கம்யூனிகேட் தேர் இஷ்யூஸ் வித் தி சப்போர்ட் டீம் அண்ட் தி சப்போர்ட் டீம் கேன் ட்ராக் ஆல் தோஸ் இஷ்யூட் அண்ட் சார்ட் அவுட் ஈச் டிக்கெட் ஹேஸ் இட்ஸ் ஆன் யூனிக் சீரியல் நம்பர் அண்ட் தட் ஷோஸ் ஹவ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தி இஷ்யூ இஸ் In Odo 16 help desk module we can generate ticket through various methods like website form and live chat as well as email so let's check more about it in order to manage with the ticket you can just get into the help desk module and we need to configure a team so currently we can see different teams which is already created by odo and here we can also th- see the key performance of the ticket under the help desk overview In order to configure a team, you can just go to the configuration menu. Under that, we have teams option. And here we can see the two, two teams that is already configured by Odoo uh, with its name, email alias and company. Now let's create a new team. So uh, here you can provide the name of the team. So let me give the name of the team as customer support. and if you want to describe your team to your uh, colleagues as well as to your uh, customers you can provide it here and you can see as uh, this team belongs to my company san francisco the company would be automatically configured and under the channels we have three options to generate ticket we can generate tickets through email alias we can generate tickets through live chat and website form so now let's discuss about how to generate a ticket through email alias so here we have to give the alias which means this will be the mail that will be receiving the unknown mails let me give uh, the email as sample odo for and let me save so in order to receive an email alias first we need to configure an incoming mail server so uh, let's back to the settings when you back to the settings you would be able to see that we can uh, search for custom mail and uh, here you can see custom email server and under alias domain you have to set the domain and when you go to the incoming mail server you can see we have created an incoming mail server so this must be details here in the first field you here you have to give the name of the yeah uh, mail server and after that you need to set the uh, server type as pop server and here uh under the server information you need to give the uh server name as pop.gmail.com and when you enable ssl dsl the port number will be automatically configured and under the username you need to give the mail uh, mail id to which the email must be received and you have to generate a password so uh, this password can be generated from the uh, gmail uh the inc- setting of incoming uh, mail server is uh, already discussed in another video so i will be giving that uh, link in the i button okay now let's back to the help desk module and uh here you can see the created um team is here currently we don't have any open tickets or an assigned tickets urgent failed or anything because uh, we don't have any tickets and when you back to the teams uh, here uh, we have already set the alias now let's check how uh, we can convert a mail into a ticket for that let me choose a mail now let me send a mail to the mail that we have given in the odoo platform kindly help me to replace the item so let me send uh this mail and after that we will be receiving a mail to the mail that we have given in the odoo platform so let's check that here you can see we have received a mail kindly help me to replace the item so in order to get this as a ticket first we need to fetch the information from the incoming mail server so let's switch to the odoo platform here you need to 
take the incoming mail server and search for custom and choose the incoming mail server and click on fetch now so as you fetch all the mails you will be receiving multiple mails or uh, you can see a ticket will be generated now let's back to the help desk module so when you back to the help desk module here you can see a mail is generated so which is a uh, table led broken and you can see uh, the mail that we have received and you can also set the priority if you want to assign this to a particular assignee you can set the assignee and uh, if you want to uh, set the priority if it's urgent you can uh, yeah put three stars uh, if you want to set the priority as high priority just give two stars and we can also set the type of this help desk so we have two types of uh, I mean you can set uh, the type of this ticket as uh, uh, issue or question so this is an issue so let me set it as issue and you can also use tags for filtration purposes so you can uh, just use the uh, tag as service and if you have any information regarding this ticket you can give it under the description of the ticket and here you can also provide the phone number after that let me save this and you can see currently we have saved this and you can also set the status uh, which is in in progress or blocked already okay now now let's see how we can create a ticket from uh, live chat so let's back to the uh, teams and under the customer support you would be able to see you would be able to see uh, the uh, channel uh, I mean we can create uh, the ticket through the channel called live chat so let me enable that and after that we need to save the page and we need to refresh this to see this feature is activated so you can directly configure the tickets uh, from this window itself now we click on view channel so that you can view the channel either you can use the existing channel or you can create a new channel let me create a new channel called my channel and uh, under the operator you can add operators so these operators will be managing that so here we have different operators if you want to add all the operators just select everyone and click on select so that all the operators will be added here and under option you can set uh, different uh, things like live chat button text of the button like you can set uh, the text of the button have a question chat with us and you can set live chat button color so let me customize the color so here this uh, can be customized and you can set a particular color for the chat and here we have live chat window which allow you to set the welcome message so if you want to change the welcome message you can change that and if you want to uh, chat input place order then you can set that and you can also uh, set channel header color so now uh, let me change the uh, channel header color okay after that let me uh, yeah save this and let's publish this channel so currently this channel is not published if a channel is not published that will be indicated in red color so here we can see it's currently unpublished and you can publish the channel now let's back to the live chat channel again and we have channel rules so we can set the channel rules so in order to set the channel rules you can click on add a line under url rabbits and uh, here you have a, ch a wizard uh, in order to set um, the channel rules so let me uh, set the live chat button as open automatically and here you can choose the chat board as welcome board so let me set it as welcome board and if you want to enable enables only if no operators you can enable this one and uh, uh, you can set the url uh, of uh, the page i mean uh, chat rule and you can also set the uh, i mean uh, to open the uh, live chat uh, second so let me set it as one and here you can also restrict this for a particular country and here you can choose multiple countries so currently i'm not setting this uh, to any of the countries so uh, all the countries could use this live chat after that you can just save and close this and let me save the changes now 
you can see there are no records under the country uh, as we haven't set any country and under widgets we can copy this url and let me copy this url and paste in a browser okay now you could see the welcome message uh, and you can uh, choose uh, the questions uh, from here so uh, here you can choose like what are you looking for um, like the board has given you a question so you can uh, set or give an automatic answer which means can't answer from here so let me uh, give as I'm just looking around and you can uh, use something to say and if you want to uh, restart this you can again restart the conversation okay now let me close this and after that let's go back to the order platform uh, of uh, the live chat here you would be able to see all the conversations that we have made in the uh, website and I mean uh, in the live chat uh, channel that we have created now if you want to convert this into an a ticket you just click on slash and here we can see help desk and choose that after that you can give the name of the ticket so let me give the ticket name as demo ticket so this would create a demo ticket I mean a ticket in the name of demo ticket and after that you just click on um, enter so when you go to the tickets and under all tickets you would be able to see a demo ticket will be created so here we can see a ticket is currently created now let's see how to create a ticket from website uh, okay for that you can go to the configuration and choose teams and under that you also need to uh, enable the website form so after that you can just save all the changes and yeah let me go back to the uh, website module in order to generate a ticket from website module uh, just create a form so we can see a form is already uh, configured here now let me click on the edit button and we need to customize the submit button so choose the submit button and under action you need to set it as uh, create a ticket so here we can see we have already configured like action as create a ticket so upon submitting this form a ticket will be created and here we also need to ensure we have set the help desk team so currently i need to set the team as customer support so the ticket will be generated under the team customer support now here you can fill the details um save all the changes and fill the details in the form and here you need to provide the subject so a ticket will be generated in a uh, subject name and you need to replace that and click on submit so that you would be able to see that a ticket will be generated with its reference number so 27 is the reference number and when you click on 27 you can see a ticket is uh, currently uh, created and uh, let's back to the help desk module and here you would be able to see we can see a ticket uh, is created because we have total three tickets right now and uh, when you back to the uh, all tickets you would be able to see uh, the ticket uh, that is generated right now uh, you need to ensure that you have set the proper team then only you would be able to see the ticket that has generated from the website form so thank you for watching the video hope this concept is clear for you